on, I have, what I have in here, I have a switch. This is my turn signal switch. You can see it flips on and off. And out here, this position is my hazard flasher switch. And it releases automatically when I turn the other. Uh, so that takes care of your hazard flashers. That is another thing that a lot of people are failing to put on their vehicles. This is a nice unit. Uh, it comes, it's a, ki it's a kit. It's actually designed for older model Jeeps. If you remember the old World War II Jeeps, they had the straight little metal column. And this is how their turn signals is mounted to the side of the column. It's got a strap that goes around it and it holds it in place. And it's got wires that I've run out the back here. It may be harder to see in the dark of the video. But this one unit actually gets you your turn signals and your hazard flashers all in one unit. What it doesn't get you is your park lights. So what I've done is I put a switch up here on my dash and if I go to the upper position, it's a three position switch, if I go to the upper position that actually gives me my park lights. And per the law, my park lights are clearly visible from the side. Uh, I actually found these uh, at a farm supply that does, they help outfit a lot of uh, uh, big cattle trailers, uh, you know, farmers that haul cattle and whatnot. You can also find this one at a truck stop. It's very easy to mount because it is a very simple round three quarter inch hole. So a wood boring bit works perfect to go right through the plastic of most modern ATVs and doesn't tear it up. And then these simply pop into the hole. And if you ever tear one up or it does go out, you can pop it out and replace it. I also mounted them down here. I wasn't, because I already had taillights back here, I didn't have to have those, uh, but I was, I didn't want to cut into my factory wiring any. I didn't want to mess with my factory wiring and try and wire it where these would become flashers. So what I've done on mine, those also serve, when I click on the thing, you notice this side begins flashing in the direction I turn it, and both of them flash. But you'll notice the other side remain steady. And you can see them from the front too. I mounted them in front. I actually looked up a razor uh, overseas. Some of the razors actually do come straight legal with the parts already on them, but the kit is, it, it was ridiculous. It was like $600 American. Okay, these little button lights here are $5.99 each. It's eight times six. And this control head here uh, was $49, for, uh, ordered from my local auto parts store. And what you can't see under my dash, uh, the control head comes with a, a flasher control. Uh, the flasher control it comes with are meant for incandescent lights. Uh, LEDs do not draw enough current to make it flash properly, so I had also had to spend $22 on my flasher control. This, is, this looks kind of like a relay. Um, it's what makes them flash.